Ano ba ang ating ipinagdiriwang sa araw na ito? Napakabilis ng panahon. Totoo po yan. Isang taong ay ibarasali ngayon ng movement against tyranny. Kakaiba yung movement against tyranny. Dahil uh, naindala natin sa isang new and higher level. Uh, this was at the, in the, in the wake of the Kiyang 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 Santos Kiyang. At naisip ng mga leaders na panahon na para magsama-sama yung iba't ibang mga sektor, iba't ibang mga personalities who in one way or another have expressed their opposition to the EJKs and the various human rights violations and abuses of the Duterte regime. Matapos ho nung September 21, the next uh, major activity of the month was the uh, December 10, Human, Day, Human Rights Day rally. Naglabas ho tayo ng statement of concern on the deteriorating, deteriorating human rights situation. Uh, at marami ho naging signatories dito, mga public personalities. Uh, Nilusan ho natin ang isang anti-charter change assembly. No? And I guess uh, many of you were also there. And uh, ang naging combination ho nun ay yung uh, EDSA anti-charter rally natin which was on February 24. Uh, dinaluhan ko ito ng around 3,000 o baka mahigit pa, uh, 5,000 ng mga nagprotesta and it was the biggest rally so far against charter change. Uh, naging kalahok din ang movement against tyranny sa Coalition for Justice in the wake of the impeachment and co-waranto against Chief Justice Sereno. Ito po yung isang rally sa Baguio na marami kong mga network kasamahan natin ang uh, nag-rally doon sa Supreme Court uh, sessions in Baguio. Uh, and then after that, ang next project natin ay ang um, higanteng United People's Sona Rally. So ito, pa-partner na natin dito, of course, ang Coalition for Justice and uh, in the Pilipinas uh, and all the other groups opposed to Duterte's tyranny, abuse, corruption, etc. Uh, Alam niyo po, dati natin sinasabi, very contagious ang tahod. Pero alam naman natin, mas contagious ang katapangan. Kaya sabi natin, isa tayo ng isang disease na tapang para lahat ay maging ma-impact sa ating katapangan. So, yun ang nangyari sa taong ito. Talaga, nagkakaroon tayo ng accumulation of combustible events na it will finally come to a critical mass. And that is because we have done our part and nakikita niyo rin kay Teddy. But strangely enough, because ang dami din ano, uh, kagagawa ng gobyerno that is leading to their self-destruction. So kasama sila sa paglalagay ng parang ginagatungan din yung ating critical mass sa kanilang mga kalukuhang ginagawa. So he says he wants to resign. Nakita niyo naman ang ridiculous yung ano, ang dami-dami nang sinabi ng magre-resign siya, pero wala namang nangyayari. Kaya ang ating clear and loud answer to this is, okay, just do it. Resign.